Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll cover test of similar triangles. In my last video, I have showed you test for congruent triangles and today we're going to do test for similar triangles. Uh, I have two pairs of um, photographs over here. This, this two photographs, you can see that same photographs, but this one is relatively smaller than this one. And so is this one. This one relatively smaller than this one. These two pictures are known as similar pictures or photographs. These two are also similar. Okay. They, they don't have the same size, but they have same shape. Okay. You can recognize that. What does that actually mean? Okay. Same shape, same size. Triangles, triangles having, having same shape and different sizes are known as similar triangles. We know that I said that they are proportionally small. Okay. Or pro uh, from this one to this one is proportionally large and from this one to this one proportionally small. But what do you understand by proportionally small or large? What happened if I have a picture like that? Okay, let's say I just draw a strict figure. Okay, and then if I have another one relatively smaller, okay, proportionally smaller, that means all sides are, all sides, all angles from every corner, every uh, sides. If this is smaller, then we call that similar. Okay, so, or if it's bigger, then we call similar. Okay, let me draw a bigger one. Okay, similar but bigger. Okay, so it's going to be like that. And from this one is, this is a smaller. And from this one, this one is bigger. So all of them are similar. Proportionally small or proportionally big. What if it's not proportionally small or proportionally big? Let's say it's it's extended. It's get bigger, uh, uh, bigger on the length wise. Okay, if this picture gets bigger from the length wise, so bigger bigger on its length length let's say length side okay length side what what it would look like so this diagram this photograph or this stick figure should be looking something like this lengthwise if i enlarge that okay it's gonna be looking like that so the picture is gonna be like this it's not gonna be exactly the same uh, person you can you can recognize the same person over here but if this picture gets bigger this way the face is gonna be prolonged the extended this side the height of the face should be the same but length is gonna be very big so eye is gonna be not like this it's gonna be huge like that proportional to the, its head so it's not gonna be the same if it's prolonged or if it's extend height wise then this picture should probably look something like that okay like that so it's gonna be again prolonged this way so the height would be the same and then uh, uh, height would be different and then sideways gonna be same so they are not gonna be similar this cases both of them are not gonna be similar okay so you have to understand this uh, proportional from every corner every side every angles okay so we can say that two triangles we are dealing with triangles here okay two triangles are similar for the few cases for test of uh, congruency we had four rules but for similar triangles rule test i have three different tests so first one okay we can say two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are equal or if their corresponding sides are proportional okay so two triangles are similar let me write down that if one if one says their corresponding sides their corresponding sides i explained that they are corresponding sides are proportional proportional or to if they are corresponding angles are 
equal okay there is one more i'm coming to that uh, in a second so first one corresponding sides are proportional if i have two triangles let me draw two triangles okay over here let me draw this triangle uh, let's say this is let me use this a b c and let me have another triangle smaller than that okay and it's gonna be p q r okay and in in this triangles if i have a b over p q equal to b c over q r equal to c a equal to r p all sides are proportional proportional that means when you divided this line with this line and this line with this line and this line with this line then they should have some unique value some value k constant value k okay uh, to give you more uh, one more example if this is eight uh, this is practical thing if it's eight and if this is four okay and let's say uh, if this is this is a uh, uh, 12 and this is six and let's say this one is um, it's bigger than that eight so let's it be ten let's this one be five okay so look at this 12 divided by 6 12 divided by 6 equal to 8 divided by 4 equal to 10 divided by 5 it's always 2 so k is 2 in this case okay this is just an example i just uh, show you that there uh, this triangle is proportionally small or in another words if you divide each sides of this one by 2 you're gonna get that side okay so when all sides all corresponding sides okay all corresponding sides are proportional we can say that these two triangles are similar so you can say triangle a b c are similar to triangle p q r okay we do write it like that but when you write it like that be careful be very careful with this concept okay Whenever you write down that A, B, C, P, Q, R, this corresponding point, okay, this corresponding point A and P, whatever the angle it represents, this angle A has to be equal to angle P. And this B, B has to be equal to Q and this C has to be equal to R. So there is a way of writing this. You cannot just write down any way you want, okay? So this order is very important. Corresponding points, corresponding angles, corresponding sides is very important. So A is corresponding to P, B corresponding to Q, C corresponding to R. Or angle A is equal to angle P, angle B equal to angle Q, angle C equal to angle R. Or if you're writing like that, AB, look at this, AB, first two letters AB, AB is proportional to PQ, first two letters whatever it represent that okay a b represent this side and p q represent this side so these two are proportional okay that means when you divide this one by this you're gonna get this k and then look at this last two b c q r b c q r 10 divided by 5 2 then take a c a c is 12 and a is the first letter c is the last letter so a c 12 and first letter p Last letter R, P, R, 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So the order is very important. Okay. So let me write down this. Keeping in your mind. Keeping in your mind. Okay. What to keep in your mind? The corresponding order of vertices. The corresponding corresponding order order of vertices okay this vertices a with p b with q c with r this is very 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 important if you miss that you don't get this okay you are not gonna get the full marks okay and your answer would be wrong now next one okay next one if i have two angles equal to another two angles of the other triangle a b c and let's say 
PQR and let's say this angle equal to this angle and this angle equal to this angle. That means angle A equal to angle P, angle B equal to angle Q. When I have in a triangle two angles equal to two angles of another triangle, these two triangles are similar. Uh, third angle, I don't need to prove that, but you, as you know, that sum of three angles of a triangle equal to 180 degree. So automatically third angles equals to each other. So we don't need to prove that. As soon as I have two, two angles equal to two angles of another triangle, we can conclude these two triangles are similar. Okay. So as soon as you write down uh, or find out two angles are equal, this one's two angle equal to two angles of this triangle, then we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle P, Q, R. Done. Okay. Now number three. Number three is little different. It's uh, two pair of corresponding sides are proportional and their included angle is equal. So what do I mean by that? Let me go and write down this. Okay. So that uh, A, B, C and this one let's say it's a uh, P, Q, R, okay? And in this two triangles, in this two triangle, if I have A, B over A, B over P, Q and equal to B, C over Q, R, Q, R, that equal to some kind of, some kind of K. You, you, need to, you don't need to do that just to show you some kind of K. So this side over this side and this side over this side, okay? Now, if they are proportional, proportional and look at this a b and b c a b and b c they make this angle and p q and q r make this angle if these two angles are equal and angle b equal to angle q when i have this condition then we can write down triangle a b c is similar to triangle p q r okay so there are three tests of similarities if i have three sides of a triangle uh, uh, is proportional to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then they, these two triangles are con uh, similar. And if I have two angles of a triangle equal to two angles of another triangle, then those, those two triangles are similar. Or if I have two pairs of corresponding sides are proportional and included angle equal, then they are proportional, uh, they are similar, okay? Now this one, you have one very common diagram whenever you are doing math, it's gonna be a triangle like that. Let's say it's A, B, C, okay? And if you have a parallel line in between, let's say P, Q, okay? These two are parallel. As soon as these two are parallel, you can say that triangle A, P, Q is similar to triangle A, B, C. Why is that? Because look at this, this angle equal to this angle, corresponding angle, I hope you remember similarly placed. This is corresponding angle. They are equal and these two are equal. So this angle equal to this angle and third angle is common for both of them. So if you have a diagram like that, then uh, uh, one line is parallel to another, then this triangle is similar to that triangle. This is a very common one you can find out. So that was test of similarities. Okay, there are three tests. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you understand. If you have any question, write me. Okay, take care, have a good day.